It's a quiet community screaming mad at a local business. The row between families and truckies from the nearby quarry. And it's so heated there are fears someone will get badly hurt or worse. Nobody comes out to this area anymore because it is too dangerous now. Hands off now, Hands off now, It's uncontrollable. Um, it's out of hand. And we don't want an accident with the school kids on the bus. It's really, really dangerous. These residents have had enough of an army of trucks flooding their community. The community are fed up, are really fed up with the dangers that we are faced with every day. Most of the trucks come from this quarry, which under a new owner for the past three years has ramped up production, requiring hundreds of journeys per day. Some of them hair raising for passing traffic. You come across two or three trucks in a row, especially if you're on a school bus, it's, it's so bad, it's just so dangerous. We get it a lot, trucks tailgating, flashing the lights, they're just always in a hurry. Um, yeah, just sort of bullies of the road pretty much. Andy Coates captured some of the worst behaviour on camera. Watch how close this truck stops behind him. What's your story? You're on video, mate. The warning he was on camera did very little as a few minutes later Andy slowed with kangaroos on the move nearby. There was kangaroos hopping around, uh, some crossed the road in front of us, so we're sort of watching that and this truck was still right up our bum. The truck driver in such a hurry he decides to overtake on an unsealed road. Several times I've been driving at the speed limit or to the conditions of the road and you've got a truck fair right up your backside pushing you. Neil Armstrong is another local who lives along the Pomona Kinkin Road in the Noosa hinterland. Last year voted the worst road in Queensland. We're concerned about the future values of our properties, what we're going to live with daily, our dangers getting to and from our homes. The quarry operators really don't seem to have a care for the community and are not willing to work with us. Since purchasing the quarry, Cordwell Resources has increased production. Residents say there used to be less than 10 truck journeys per day. Now up to 288 are permitted. The route they use takes these heavily laden trucks over two different single lane bridges as it cuts through a winding mountain pass. What impact has that increase in production had on you guys? Well, that's brought it to another level altogether with blasting and the quarry operating. Um, you got drilling rigs, rock crushes. The blasting is felt most at Bruce Glasby's farm, right next door to the quarry site. The property has been in their family for 90 years, but daughter Marie says the peace and tranquility has now been shattered. I've got to leave the property to get away from the noise, the dust, the trucks, the blasting, the drilling, the smashing rocks. It's horrendous. The road is still part of the Noosa Hinterland Tourist Drive, but has effectively become a heavy haulage route. Of most concern for parents, a school bus has to negotiate the same narrow turns as those huge trucks. Before something happens, do something about it. Ian Browning operates the school bus service and his calls for a reduced speed limit along the narrowest stretch of road have been ignored. If we don't get some sort of resolution to reduce the speed to perhaps 40, on the range, in that three kilometres, we're going we, to have an incident for sure and certain. As you can see here, some kids even walk to school along what's now become a truck highway. Us, the school bus is trying to pull over, you're trying to get them on and off safely. It's so, so dangerous. No way! Save our hinterland! No Sarah Keating Save and Anita Patiri decided to start the Save Noosa Hinterland group, trying to find a safer solution. They're waiting for a death before something can happen, but we, we don't want a death. We don't want one of our community members to die and we don't want an accident with the school kids on the bus. It's really, really dangerous. The state government has funded roadworks to make the journey safer, though that has made the truck impacts worse in the short term. 
and no matter what they do to the roads, they will never be safe for this quantity of quarry trucks. Noosa Council approved the quarry three decades ago, but currently has proceedings against Cordwell Resources before the Planning and Environment Court. Cordwell Resources has a history of safety breaches. In 2019, an incident was so serious, company director Brian Cordwell narrowly avoided going to jail after a young employee was almost killed at a different work site. Quarry operator Martin Cordwell said the current court proceedings limited what he could say, but they take any concerns very seriously and take pride in offering a professional service to the community. We want them to have some consideration for the community that they're operating in. We were all here before Caldwell's came here. We had no say in what happened here. The community feels like governments at both state and local levels are passing the buck to find a solution. We've sent around in circles constantly. Nothing actually has been done. It's actually got worse. Well, we'd probably like to see the people who actually put it here and approved it and have voted for it, take responsibility for it and help the people out of the community. Well, Noosa Council has told us that it stands with the local community, but there's nothing it can do until the current legal proceedings are finalised. So a case of watch this space and watch out for trucks in the Noosa hinterland.